Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Lele and today I'll be unboxing my iPhone 13 Pro Max. So stick around and enjoy. previous unboxing where I had the phone for I think a couple of weeks then I don't remember and I gave like a mini review I've had this phone for about a month maybe like a week now and I just wanted to give a little review how I feel about it having had it for like quite a while since like it's my everyday phone I use it every day I use it like 11 hours a day so I know my stuff first things first just the main thing I want to point out this phone is very heavy it's really heavy. Anyone who picks it up and I'm out with my friends or I'm giving it to my sister or my mother or my dad or whoever, the first thing they almost always say, wow oh, Lele, your phone is pretty heavy. And you get used to it, I'm not gonna lie, but when I first had it, I wouldn't, I would only use it when I was sitting down on my bed because I was deathly afraid that I was gonna drop it. So I don't use it like lying down like this anymore because I know the day, the day I drop it on my face, it's gonna be wraps for me. It could leave a scar. I'm not even. I'm not even exaggerating. So just the first thing, and I think one of the main things, if you have like wrist problems, wrists are sensitive or get tired quickly. I don't know. Secondly, um, the battery life is phenomenal. I don't like how technology is so great. This phone's battery fully charged lost me two to three days and i use my phone heavy i don't use power mode power saving mode like, i don't like it i just don't like it but also my brightness pretty low so could, that could also contribute chef's kiss very good very nice i just I, apparently that's the reason for the thickness and the heaviness is because the battery is so massive apparently do not quote me third thing this phones i don't know what you call it but the responsive rate is really fast. I edit with this phone now because my editing app finally got an iOS extension so I can edit on my phone and when I tell you editing has been a bliss or just using it in general it doesn't even have to be like editing just like the response rate of everything it's just like insane it's very quick I do, it has it probably has a term I don't know but I'm just gonna go with response rate it's very quick and it's very smooth camera quality of course it confuses me at times because there's just so many little tools like the cinematic mode I was really confused because I was like what is this then I realized I was like oh and coming from the XR I only had one camera lens so having three and having all those zoom in features those zoom out features ugh. night mode on the camera absolutely insane absolutely bonkers it goes crazy it goes stupid it goes ham take a photo in the darkest room and it still looks great with the, with the flash on, of course. Next, aesthetic. Now let's speak about aesthetics. They, um, like dimmed. I don't know how to say it, but the Apple, the logo, is not as like bright or obvious. It's very dim compared to previous iPhones. If I compare it to my sister's iPhone 12, hers is like there. You can see the Apple logo. Here you have to kind of like look or like move it, reflect it towards a light source to actually see it, which I kind of dig. This is the gold one. I'm not sure about any other colors, but I'm speaking from a person who has the gold one. Secondly, they reduced the notch. This thing here, 
which I really like. I didn't like the notch. I like the smaller one. My sister actually doesn't think it looks good. I think it looks really great. You can like tell the difference comparing it to any other previous model. The bezels, very tiny, very cool. Coming from a person who had a phone with thick bezels, this is very refreshing. It's nice having just like, also this is Scott Pilgrim. It's nice just having your wallpaper or whatever you're using just like spread out through the screen. I think that's all I can note for now where it's like big features. I'm not going to talk about little things or small things that I've noticed. That's it for this phone review. I'll put up some photos I've taken so far. I hope they retain the quality because when you upload to YouTube sometimes my quality reduces which is really annoying. YouTube. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, what I'm asking for, what I'm asking for is a like. If you enjoyed this video so much, you're like, oh my gosh, this girl, I want to see more of her videos. I want to see more of her content. Please don't be afraid to click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know whenever I post because most of my subscribers don't have their notification bell on. Most of my viewers aren't even subscribed, so you keep coming back. Press the button because you enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.